Hello everyone, welcome to another Buddy Fight video, because Buddy Fight's the only game that matters. This time it's my Dragon's Vi Neo Dragon build, so, flag is Dragon's Vi, and my buddy is the Over X, um, Dimension, because that's just the buddy I chose, it's one of my more frequently called cards, it was also kind of cheap, so easy to make my buddy. Why not aesthetic? Shut up, Miles. He doesn't go with the lore. Good. Um, so, I'm running four copies of my buddy, the over EX Dimension, because what it does is its call cost is pay two gauge and put three cards from drop into its soul. So three card soul guard is always nice. And it gets, um, what you can do is you can soul blast a card and it can get the ability to either double attack or penetrate. So basically, you can just fill up its soul with some stuff and make it you can fill it up with crits with like Elgar Cannon <coughs> and other stuff. So restanding three crits is cool. So four four Dimension. It's a good good card. Next, we're running four copies of America's favorite triple R triple card, Super Sun Dragon Ball Soleil. Cause it is a Neo Dragon, and a Black Dragon, and a Sun Dragon. So Call cost is two gauge and put on top of a uh, card on the field. If it has a soul, um, all da it gets a critical and all damage you take is reduced by one and also has double attack and slow guard and counter pay one gauge pop your opponent's center. So it's another really good Neo Dragon because it has it's a 727, so it has high stats, it has a good ability, it has double attack. So it's just a really good Neo Dragon to have and it works really well with the other size room about to get to you. So, next is our, is probably the most ridiculous card in this entire game, is Transcend Dragon Emperor Evigkite. It's a 826 size 3, cost is 2 gauge and put the top deck into its soul. Its ability is pay 2 life, mill 3. Uh, you can call a card from what you milled by paying its call cost, and it becomes a permanent size 0. So, why that's ridiculous is you could call this, and then if you have a card on the side, you could go, you could use it to mill into Ball Soleil. You have this and a Ball Soleil. By structuring it uh, in a specific way and actually getting, a, well, admittedly getting pretty lucky, I've had a field where I've had three Ball Soleils because I used Ewokite to call this, Ewokite to call over here, and Ewokite to call on top of it. That is size 9, 737 double attack three times. That is 18 criticals, and that is something this deck can achieve. While rare, it is possible, and that's ridiculous, because Edward Kite is insane. Please ban Edward Kite, Bushiroad. Next, just because it's another size 3 Neo Dragon, we're running 4 copies of the Law Gyra Plus, 737 2 gauge, on call, search for any card and put into the soul. There are some kind of critical cards in this deck that you want to see in the drop zone, because a lot of... Uh, stuff from drop goes into soul, so um, it's nice to guarantee it with Gyra Plus. Also, it's a really good first call because it's just kind of generic and splashy. So, four Gyra Plus is good. Uh, next, we're running one copy of the biggest Dragon Arms Sonic Blast. It's a 636 2 gauge, so cost doesn't really matter because you're almost never ever going to call it. Its ability is if it's in the soul of a Neo Dragon and it attacks, you can pay one gauge to destroy a card in your opponent's field. So, what's nice about this is if you if it is in the soul of a card that has double attack, or a different card that has double attack, you can use its ability twice. And since it doesn't specify monster, but card, you can get rid of pesky spells and items, like if you're playing against executioners, you can pop their set spell and kind of shut down some of their plays. So it's a really good card to have at least one. Uh, next, we're also running three copies of Eliminator Jerkline. Which is you can discard a card, take a card from a dragon arms from your drop zone and put it into the soul of a Neo Dragon. So it's nice because it helps you refill the soul of Dimension for its skill. It lets you fill the soul. Um, it lets you fill up the soul of something that might need it for its ability. It lets you reproc some abilities like there's stuff that happens when it enters the soul. And yeah, it uh. If you're, you if you lose it due to Soul Guard, you get it back. So uh, Jerkline's a good card. 
Uh, one copy of Elgar Cannon if it's in the soul of a, of a Neo Dragon 2 Cannon crit. It, it, we, have a dec we have a decent amount of double attack and high powered monsters, so making their crits higher is ridiculous. Like, my favorite first turn play is Gyra Plus, Search Elgar Cannon. That's four crit turn one. That's okay, I guess. Um, next, we're also running one copy of uh, Death Wizard Dragon on call charge to take a life. Uh, gauge is kind of important to this, so it's nice to get the gauge from it. Also, it's a good target for Ball Soleil, because you get your two gauge, free Ball Soleil, or pay one life Ball Soleil, and yeah, so good card. Uh, Fork copy is of Retainer the Demonic Dragon King Garai, uh, discard a card if your flag is Zvi Charge 2. Again, gauge is important, gets you your gauge for some of your plays. Um, we're also uh, running a sweet old four copies of Retainer the Demonic Dragon Destructor. It is Divine Dragon Creation on Legs. 2 1 1 size 0 on call if your flag is Zvi, pay 2, draw 2. I don't need to tell you why this is good. Next, we're running four copies of Sphere Cemetery Star Remnants. Your ent the entire main monster, your entire monster lap is that costs gauge, except for like one card being Sonic Blast is Neo Dragons. So cutting down Neo Dragon cost by one gauge is amazing, especially well because gauge again gauge isn't critical, and while it can only be called to the left, you can go pay one gauge. Get your Edward Kite. Edward Kite, mill one. Get you your Ball Soleil. You get a one gauge Ball Soleil. So, like, yeah. Star Remnant is a very, very good card and should not be run at less than four. It's it, For this deck, it is too critical. Uh, dra now we're on to the Dragon Arms. Uh, we're running four copies of Media Arms Pisca Pisca. When it's put into the soul of a size three card, Either from hand, deck, or feet, from field, deck, or drop. So, you know, uh, charge one when you do that. So, if you're doing, since it's hand, deck, or field, you can, if it's put from, if you go with Dimension, who is three cards from drop, you can get your gauge. If you go with Gyra Plus and you search from deck, you can get your gauge. If you somehow manage to top deck it from uh, Evig Heights cost, you get your gauge. And again, gauge is important. This gets you your gauge, and it gets it very well. So, good card for four. Next is two copies of Dragon Arms Garble Anchor. If it's in the soul of a Neo Dragon, and your opponent activates a spell, pay one gauge, pay one life, soul blast itself, negate that spell. Because, you know, preventing your opponent from being able to use shields is pretty cool. Two copies of Artilager. Because a, a bit of an it map tough matchup this deck can kind of have is against a uh, star dragon a uh, jackknife when they have um what's it called they have the new dragon when they have dragon four style of justice so the artillery griffiths in the soul can nullify their soul guard even if they have the justice so you can get rid of their soul there you can get rid of anything that has massive soul so artillery is good to have also penetrate nullifying is cool Two copies of Dragon Eraser Cometa, if it's in the soul of a size 3 Neo Dragon, give it uh, Penetrate. And two copies of Dragon Arms Edge Shooter, if it's in the soul of a Neo Dragon and it attacks, you may burn one. Your opponent takes one damage, but that ability can only be used once per the turn. But it's a burn one, so it's good to have, especially because it's a size 0 Neo Dragon. Uh, impacts or impact monsters because it's Vi. One copy of Fake Dragon or Jackknife, 6262 gauge put on top of a of, uh, card. It's, um, you, you run it because it's on call, add a size 3 from drop the hand. It's a size 3 heavy deck. Reusing them's cool. Also, um, move in Soul Guard because it's a Neo Dragon. And the very last card is three copies of Zenislator Rain the Vertex. So, what it does is it's a 927 size 3, co cost is 3 gauge and put on top of a, of a size 3. When it attacks, if you have 6 more or more dragons in your drop, which you will because it's dragons vi, you may destroy a um, monster your opponent controls. So, 
and that's double attack. So basically, your opponent has two monsters, you can pop both of them. What's really fun is if you put it on top of Neo Dragon, and that Neo Dragon that you put it on top of also happened to have Sonic Blast. So basically, while it does cost you a hefty sum of gauge, you can basically pop four cards, because one, two, one, two. So it's a it's a very heavy combo play, but because this deck can build up gauge pretty easy, e easily, you can do it. But this is a really good impact, because it destroys a lot of things, and that's always pretty cool. Uh, yeah. This is my Dragon's Vi deck. It's kind of absurd, because Edward Kite's a stupid card, because having a field of size threes is just ridiculous. But, you know... This is a really fun deck. It's I, I really enjoy it. It's fun. It's really good. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. You should play Buddy Fight. You should watch your stuff. Support us on Patreon. We have one of those. It's in the description. We're all poor. Let us support. And also, you get some pretty cool prizes if you support us on Patreon. So, you know, you should do that. G Master signing out.